So, I was passing through and I found out that there is a Tesla showroom here in Milwaukee. I was driving and I'm gonna swipe it. And here I am. I gave them basically my driver license and now I'm in a Tesla. Uh, I did look at some Teslas in the showroom and uh, it feels it feels new and fresh not in a sense that it's a new car but it's a new thinking and uh, <clears throat> I don't know what to say except these are my first 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 impressions of Tesla um, this is, as I was told, is an older model. So I don't know what year it is or anything. Um, so it doesn't feel as new as the one I sat in in the showroom. It still has the uh, switches for um, everything, but the newer doesn't have that, it, it's different. So um, I was told that if I let go, yeah, it's regening. And uh, if I accelerate, oh shoot! <laughs> it's friggin' fast, man! <laughs> oh my god! I just pushed the gas slightly tiny. Um, it's kind of a little unusual in the sense that I don't have how fast I'm going. There's a little um, mileage ticker there. Uh, let me close windows. Uh, what? I was closing the window and opened it back up. Okay. Um, I gotta stop because my air conditioner is not turned on and I guess in this car the air conditioner is not uh, as simple as in my car where I just push auto and it kicks in and works. Um, I like that it's seeing everything around all the cars and trucks that are uh, and all the lights, holy cow, this is cool. It sees the lights and I gotta pull over somewhere. Yeah, I put the blinker on and it turns on the camera. So, yeah, I can see how people behind me might hate me I just let go of the gas and the car just stops. Um, it's regenerating um, energy into the battery at every possible uh, uh, venue, so to speak. Okay, I'm hot. It is hot. Let's see if we can turn the air conditioner on. I should have it. So, auto. All right, if it's auto, what temperature am I at? Low? Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. Eh, a little more work than on my car, but I guess you get used to it. I'm not a big fan of screen control. Everything on this car is through screen. Air conditioner is not very cold. In fact, it's garbage. Let's get some mileage on this car. Uh, let's see. I like how it sees everything around and it shows it to you what's where.
speed limit is limited to 85 miles per hour. Right door pillar camera blocked or blinded. Okay. Push hard. Holy, holy moly. Holy moly. <laughs> that feels like a friggin' airplane. Spaceship. Spaceship, go! Oh my god! Ah. You're dinging. You wanna take away. Oh, it tightened my seatbelt. It doesn't trust me. It's not trusting me. doesn't want me to go fast. Okay, I just floored it. Ah, I hit 85 miles an hour. It doesn't want to go any faster. But hey, it's regenerating when I'm not accelerating. Yeah, I can see how this car would be more... You, you, you have to change the way you think when you're in Tesla. This is not... They shouldn't even be calling it cars. When I got into it, the other model that they had in the showroom, it felt different. Like I said, it felt new. Not new kind, not new car smell, a new kind of car. A new kind of transportation, uh, a new way of thinking, the way I guess my kids think with all these uh, screen controls and whatnot, and uh, um, very few buttons to interact with the actual car. Um, I have uh, interesting feelings to um, it's it's not something that I felt before uh, it is definitely not hate uh, I do not hate Tesla I don't know I'm a tinkerer I like to fix things myself I don't know if this is something that uh, I would be willing to fix but I'm getting old so uh, what what really had me um, look towards Tesla was uh, one of the people was walking out on parking lot next to my shop and uh, he came to the car and a door opened for him I'm like wow that's cool I didn't know that technology was implemented in cars and I don't mean like on my van where the side door slides open it just opened the swing door for him so I asked on uh, uh, the showroom they said that it's uh, uh, model X is is the one that has that feature in it I guess there is more um, luxury in some versus other look at the ceiling I wish I could close it maybe it darkens but if something falls on my ceiling here it's gonna cost a million bucks to fix it but it is beautiful uh elon you did a well good job all i can say is it's a good job um, i just wish there was an invitation for tinkerers to be able to tinker with the car um, and modify or or do something with it as it sits right now, I'm looking at it. I really don't want to do anything or add anything to it. It's kind of minimalistic in its approach. Um, all of the controls are more or less hidden. All of the um, um, buttons are gone for the most part. And like I said, this one still has the buttons on a steering wheel whereas the one I sat in didn't it, it was a different uh, different way of 
thinking of how you can ergonom ergonomically make the controls less intrusive. Um, let's make this. I can hear the hissing sound. I wonder. I wonder what that means. It's uh, all of the energy is being sent to the wheels and uh, oh I'm recording my I thought I'm recording <laughs> all right um, so hissing sound is something I don't like so hopefully it's gone on the new cars but it's only on when you accelerate hard it uh, the electronics I know some of those uh, electronic parts could make the yeah I don't know if it's gonna be heard but it's that slight buzzing mosquito sound um, would be nice if that wasn't here it's okay it's not it's not present all the time it's only when you accelerate hard and uh, I I want to go on the highway but there is traffic on the highway I don't know if it's necessary to go on that highway. I guess I could just... I reached 85 miles already. What I want to do is see how this thing parks. Um, see, you can't really do much with these uh, test drives uh, in a half hour. This is a whole new world that... Uh, um, world of difference I should say and uh, all the cars in the showroom were white inside this one is black I do like black a lot more I wish the leather was a little coarser I like coarse black leather that lasts a really long time white leather uh, leaves too many marks and uh, it, it looks nice but it's not uh, it's not the greatest thing <coughs> Yeah, the acceleration on this thing is just... I could have made this yellow. Well, that guy did. Um, just amazing. Uh, let's see. We have gotten down from 261 to 259. So, um, estimation of mileage is uh, not bad. I mean, I'm... Uh, Oh, I see. It tells me tomb, that it's green light. It sees the lights. Uh, I know if you drive the car hard, you're going to get much less miles uh, as far as hard acceleration and uh, hard, hard starting and stopping. I'm going to ask some more questions. One thing that I do want in the car is, uh, well, beside the range, and charging speed, uh, I would like my car to be, um, well, besides serviceable, uh, to be disconnected from all the monthly fees. And that, that's my main question is uh, if Tesla, as I was researching, I wasn't really researching, I was just hearing things about it. And uh, one of the things that I heard was, uh, you have to have monthly fees for these uh, uh, electronic connections. So if that's not true, um, I am considering Tesla for in-city driving. Um, we, when we take uh, our car, our, I have a uh, Honda minivan. Odyssey. When we take the Odyssey, there is just no shortage of room. You can fit seven people, people comfortably. You can go on any distance, meaning that you just pump the gas and pay the price. Um, so those those things are uh, amazing. Um, this car. I mean, most of my life is I'm spending in the city, so 300 miles per day driving is plenty but there is no way that I could take this car for a far away trip and the more people you have in a car of course the range is going to be uh, reduced uh, you're going to use up more battery 
Um, so those things are on my worry list, so to speak. But overall, I am very pleased with the um, just general idea of uh, not changing um, just motor from um, gas to electric, but actually changing the approach to a car, uh, meaning this is not your car with an uh, electric motor. This is a this is a different mode of transportation. So what I say that this is missing is a different mode of energy, uh, meaning a battery that can charge in five ten minutes. Just you know, so you can bring it to as close to the internal combustion gasoline, um, you know, f fill up. Um, and uh, I, I still want to support the guys that want to tinker with their cars. And I am 100% um, believe that Elon or another car electric car manufacturer uh, can make so that there is open source there is uh, closed source so like if computer breaks uh, uh, I'm okay with not having to do component replacement on a computer provided that replacement of the computer itself is not going to be uh, more expensive than the car um, but even even component replacement, you know, I'm not going to be designing my own chips to put in here. Uh, all I want is if something breaks on a car, and this is a complicated piece of equipment, so something will break. I want to be able to fix it myself, some of it. I want the manuals to be available. I want uh, the uh, community of uh, to exchange ideas, um, and I think that that's what I am more uh, looking for in um, in some like this new mode of transportation new mode of charging this transportation and new way of thinking about this piece of equipment where it's actually yours and it doesn't have to be yours you just make me think that it's mine you know that's all I want I want to think that I own this and if something goes wrong I want to feel that I can fix it I might not want to fix it I just want to know that that is open to me and um, today the acceleration is number one fun point in the car I'm definitely going to bring my family and uh, this is going to be a, a trip for everybody to everybody's talking about Tesla but how many people have actually test driven one and uh, I didn't even know we had a Tesla showroom they don't sell them here they service them here and uh, they allow you to um, test drive so uh, so far I'm very pleased with everything I'm gonna ask questions research uh, like I said two of the even uh, the battery charging is um, not as critical as uh, the monthly fees if there are any if I can just own the car without to having to pay anything to Tesla and uh, ability to tinker and make uh, you know repairs and uh, what what can I can't do with the car so those are my two sticking points monthly fees and ability to fix it other than that uh, I wish there was a cover for the ceiling but it's not intrusive we have a Sun uh, Sun is in you know uh, up above and on my sunroof I never use it it's it's there but I don't do anything with it ever because uh, 
the glass is too transparent so if I open the cover then the sun is shining right into my eyes if I open the sunroof then it's too noisy and it's just my sunroof is completely useless if it wasn't there I would not miss it this ceiling is uh, it's not bad I don't have any problems with it it I do feel sun's heat in my head not um, intrusively again but it's there um, the ability of the car to uh, make turns and uh, power steering and all that good stuff is uh, it's not bad not bad at all oh my glasses shouldn't afraid shouldn't forget that so one thing I can't figure out is how to turn it off it says that the car is on car I don't want car profile car games I don't need games I'm sure it's simple I just don't know how huh. off oh, that's lights I have no idea. All right, I'll just let them do it. So there is some camera here. Cameras and cameras. I see what they mean by older style. The newer cars have the handles pop out. Everything is uh, motorized there when you push the button. There's some motor in there Of course, it's fine But what I'm looking is What will happen when it starts breaking? That's not what I'm talking about. Well, there's a Our, 9.99 um, premium connectivity charge if you want to subscribe. So, but that's to not the not premium. required. Not Correct. required. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and if I want to do some work on the car, like doing brakes or uh, what's allowed, what's not allowed. Good question. Um, all of the warranty stuff is located on our support page, which I will send okay. to you if um, you don't make me to it. Mm -hmm. But um, there are some things that do void warranty, like changing up the steering wheel or putting a swivel screen on, anything that messes mm -hmm. with the dash. Um, I know that. And if you were like to change out the pedals, for example. Okay. 
Um, if we do the work, it doesn't void your warranty. I see. So if we change your tires, I mean, that's why I would just be more safe than sorry. Because mm -hmm. if okay. you attempt, um, if someone attempts it, that's not what they're not. What if it's after warranty? Um, what's allowed, what's not allowed? Everything? <laughs> um, I, yeah. I mean, you. so the, the warranty is four years on the car itself and then eight years on the battery. So if if the car is not in warranty and I decide to put a bigger battery in, uh, Tesla will allow me to do that? Because I know like I do computer work for a living, so a lot of stuff is locked. Um, a lot of stuff is not allowed to me to be uh, done by Apple, by Dell, by manufacturers. And a lot of stuff is not allowed to be done by car manufacturers they don't give me books they don't give me ability to hook into the computer so is it the same kind of uh, everything is hidden or do you have I would ask the service so okay. if you wanna they might be busy or they might be just doing computer work but they're at that desk that okay. there I would totally ask them All right. they deal with that part of the car I teach how to drive okay. <laughs> that's All pretty right. much Fair my department um, my guess is it would totally void your warranty. You're, I would think you're free to do whatever you want then, mm -hmm. but I don't know if there's a law or like a... Okay, I'll ask him. Okay, thanks so much. Yeah, yep, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. It is different than this one. The controls, the... Yeah, so what year is that car? 2022. These are the same car, it's just different color. But the... Oh, I was looking at that one where the candles popped up. Okay, but it has a... Oh, I wasn't in this. That's why it felt so different. <laughs> All right, thank you. Hello? Is there anybody here? Yeah, hold on one second. Are you picking up, dropping off? Just have a question. Okay. Um, I don't hear any bzz, bzz, drr, drr, like in a, in a normal shop. No. <laughs> you just push the buttons. No, I wish it was that easy. <laughs> uh, just have a question. So say, for example, if I have a Tesla that is out of warranty, Yep. And I decide to change the motor, change the battery. How does Tesla look at that? Is there um, following of people to tinker with the cars, or it's like Tesla says, we don't want you to Tesla make it so it goes on fire? Tesla doesn't sell batteries and drive units to the public, so you have to come here for us to okay. change them out. So basically, like any other company right now, you want to be in control of your equipment in, for safety reasons. and uh, Mostly for so, safety reasons. Right. Okay. All right. Well, is there um, like a Tesla mod community? I know there? nothing about it. So yeah, we, so we, just, we can't even like, we're not supposed to relay that information. If you are looking, there are things out there like that for okay. sure. We can't lead you to them, unfortunately. I understand, yeah. I'm just curious about, uh, because there's a lot of people who are crazy about Teslas. Yes. And when was the first one produced? Like 14, 15? 13. 13. 13, okay, so oh, was, now. Was really, the Roadster was like 10, but the like, yeah, S was 13. 13. If you are looking there, I mean, 12. Rich Rebuilds is a popular YouTuber who does mm what you're looking for I'm not looking for anything I was just driving by and I didn't even know we had a Tesla um, showroom or mm -hmm. service center here I had a customer visit so I uh, like wow I test drove I like it so now I'm curious I'm opening up new horizons for myself <laughs> they're, they're completely different than anything you've ever driven uh, yeah I can like yeah now that I've driven it I can uh, definitely uh, agree with uh, most of it 
but uh, I'm just curious because I'm a tinkerer and I like to fix things myself. I'm curious. So some of those first cars now have no warranty on a battery, have no warranty on anything. So do you want them scrapped? What is the policy of Tesla well, on the like old to keep cars? Them on the road. So what would the battery replacement cost approximately? It just, just depends, but depends. they're... Is it like a thousand or ten thousand? You're near ten. Yeah, it's anywhere from ten to twenty thousand, depending on what size pack you have, okay, what gotcha. generation it is. So all the money that you save on fuel. But then, I mean, like any vehicle you'd have, if a motor or transmission goes out, you have it. I mean, you're talking about a twelve-year plus but, vehicle. But my Honda Odyssey, I put three hundred thousand miles before it went out. Mm -hmm. We have Teslas so, that have more than that rolling around on the original, original battery. Original? Oh yeah. Okay. It's all about how you charge and maintain your battery. Okay. All right. So fair enough. But it wasn't ten thousand dollars. It was five hundred bucks for my for my Honda. For what? For a used transmission. Oh, okay. For for a Honda Odyssey, there's so many of them. You can uh, find uh, good deals. Uh, depending on what year it is, you might spend another. I worked for Honda for ten years. No, I, I agree, so. and I didn't do it at the Honda. Yeah, yeah I agree. You did it at a I just had one put in my pilot. I know. Yeah, uh, they're they're not as good as they used to be. I agree with that. Okay. All right. Thank you. you have a great Appreciate day. it. So Tesla recognizes you when you get close to the car, your phone. Oh, she uh, spilled some water on me. Your phone is your <coughs> lock on lock. The service center was very quiet. I don't know if that means they have no work because the cars are quality or because no one owns too many of these Teslas. So the first Tesla was produced in 2015. Um, well, I have my eyes opened. I did not expect this. Um, I didn't expect to drive a Tesla today. So, very interesting. I have to digest the feelings and the knowledge now uh, before I could uh, start speaking about Tesla in any meaningful terms. If you had asked me an hour ago, what do you think of Tesla? I'd say no. Um, ask me right now, what do you think of Tesla? I'd say, huh, Tesla. So Tesla is not a car. Uh, Tesla looks like a car, but you have to grow into it. Um, in my opinion, Tesla requires you at this point to be an old guy which I'm getting to, so I'm liking it more and more. Uh, if the car can give me, uh, they said eight year warranty on a battery, so if the car can give me eight years of trouble-free um, existence, um, good idea. There are no required fees that you have to pay. Um, I guess Honda Link has uh, that fee, so I guess it's the same. Um, all the talk about Tesla enabling and disabling range on a battery remotely, um, I don't know how to relate to that. I guess if you paid for a, a shorter range, uh, you should be if you want longer range, you have to pay more for it. Just the knowledge that you have uh, um, a battery that is the same range as uh, 
all the other batteries <clears throat> but you didn't pay for it and you just want it um, I guess I can side with Tesla for saying hey that's how we do our business we give you the same battery as anybody else you just can't use it to that uh, extent it's cheaper for them to make those batteries but I don't care about that really uh, people who get upset over the fact that uh, range on uh, Tesla can be increased somehow by some shady shop in the basement of uh, uh, an apartment I don't care much for that um, I honestly don't know what Tesla's cost but I'm thinking they cost in the area of a luxury car um, and again it's uh, so I've been reading stories about Tesla, about uh, them having to uh, cool the batteries with uh, um, liquid and somebody struck something on the ground that broke the cooling system and they had to, uh, the Tesla wanted to replace the battery for many, many thousands of dollars, tens of thousands, like $20,000 for battery replacements. I read that I take that into account but uh, again if you do that on a um, internal combustion engine you bust the engine and the oil leaks out and you seize it it won't be cheap so um, I guess if you look at it from that perspective and how often do those parts break so uh, oftentimes you see what I'm doing I am siding with Tesla more and more because before it was purely um, an idea that existed. Oh, there are Teslas around. Oh, they have these problems and those problems. And now that I've actually driven one, uh, uh, it's like hearing about a person and then meeting the person in person. And uh, when you meet person, you actually um, smell them, believe it or not. You hear all the um, <laughs> weird noises that the person produces. Uh, you see all the um, facial features, how the person dresses. In other words, when you meet a person in person, you get a much more complete picture about the person. Uh, you know, how long his nails are. Are they dirty? Uh, what's he wearing? On, uh, what color are his socks? What, uh, um, so if it's a woman, you know, it's a different set of questions, what she smells like. And uh, um, it, it paints a completely different picture than uh, what you see on TV. And uh, I can't say, um, I can't uh, not say anything about propaganda, which exists, by the way, everywhere in the world, not just here, uh, not just in Russia, I should say. Everybody's talking about Russian propaganda. There's plenty of propaganda here. But in any case, propaganda wants you to believe something that they say on TV without meeting the real people. You go out to that village that they talk about and they said, oh, those people are bad and blah, blah, blah. You go out to that, people, to that village, they're normal people, just like you and me. They have problems, they solve those problems. And uh, uh, same thing here. You talk about a car um, like Tesla and uh, you think, uh, when you've never driven one, you only seen one, it's like seeing it on TV. You can go by looks, by color, by sound, by um, whatever you can see that it passes by you. And then there is a test drive and ownership. So I test drove it and my perception changed because everything that I've heard in the news about the car is, it becomes irrelevant. Uh, I'm forming my own opinion about um, this product and I do the same about people. 
um, be it a friend or foe or TV person, uh, I hear about somebody, um, say for, for example Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger is bad because he cheated on his wife and uh, blah blah blah. Um, so number one, say for example, I've never heard of Schwarzenegger, so now what I take from that is, uh, ah, there is a guy, his name is Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he cheated on his wife. That's about all I know. I might see a picture, oh, he's a German. Ah, okay, Germans, they're bad people or good people, whatever, depends on your uh, history. And uh, <clears throat> that's about it. That's all you can go by. Um, but not for me. I don't take that as f opinion forming uh, knowledge. Uh, if I have no way of meeting Schwarzenegger, I will listen to his side of story. I will listen to more if, if I'm interested in that person. It's just something that I heard. It's a person that I was um, came up on my uh, phone earlier today. That's why he popped up in my head. Um, yeah, my car is nowhere near the acceleration of uh, the Tesla. <laughs> that was killer. Um, by the way, not all Teslas are um, that fast. And what I found out is the model that I drove and the model that I checked out in a showroom were different models. They, they all look the same to me. Um, so in any case, I was talking about forming an opinion about a thing or a person or event. And uh, I can't answer any questions. If I've heard about Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger and I heard and seen pictures and whatever, but I haven't met the person, I cannot say anything good or bad about the guy. Um, unless, you know, like it was proven that he was uh, eating babies or killing babies or whatever, and it went through the court and he agreed. Uh, I can form an opinion, yeah, it's an evil guy. But just because he cheated on his wife, there may have been other circumstances. It's not, um, it's not a killer for me. Uh, so, in any case, what I'm trying to say is I have test driven a Tesla and I can safely form a uh, opinion about the product that I was physically in and experienced firsthand. And like I said, ownership is will um, ownership will give you a more in-depth opinion. So I own this Honda Odyssey, and uh, I can safely form an opinion about this car. About its uh, um, positives and negatives, and uh, my head likes to dig deep. And uh, honestly, the only thing that I don't like about this car is what I don't like about any car, including Tesla, is that they don't give you any ability to work on the internal parts. My car is not under warranty. I don't want to take it to the dealer and believe what they tell me is true. I want to form my own opinion about it and if I have uh, an issue with the car I'd like to have um, uh, manuals and research material that I can say this is a problem or this is not a problem or if this is a big problem or this is a small problem. Um, some problems might be because a small resistor blew up and the car is not working. Um, repair would be, you know, five cent repair. I take it to the dealer. They will replace 10,000 components and charge me $10,000 for doing it. Um, I'm not okay with that. I don't want to be taken for a ride just because I don't have the information. And unfortunately, most people right now are not willing to 
look deep into the issues and try to solve problems themselves. I understand it's not for everybody, but this is happening on all fronts, big or small. Uh, your faucet leaks, come on, faucet only has 10 or 15 parts into it. You know, there is a, um, some kind of screw, there is some kind of a nut, there is some kind of a valve, there is a, a water inlet and water outlet, you know. It's not a car or, or an airplane, you have millions of components, they all have to work perfectly with each other. And uh, <clears throat> people don't even want to know how their faucet works. I mean, in the past, you go to any hardware store, you get a rubber gasket, you shut off the water, you unscrew your faucet, you replace that rubber piece and your faucet works again. Uh, if it doesn't, uh, then you call a plumber. But basic stuff like that, People today, I don't want to know anything about it. I mean, I sit in Tesla and they got games in their console, on the main console, on uh, you know, in, on the driver's side. Games? What for? I don't get that. I mean, I understand it's all uh, part of this new stuff and new, 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 but uh, I don't think games should be part of the car driving experience. I might be wrong. So in any case, I got lots and lots of uh, uh, emotional experience about a new product called Tesla, Tesla car, um, which I should say, Tesla new mode of transportation or Tesla transportation is definitely not a car in any um, conventional sense of the word. Um, there should be a different word for electric cars. I haven't been, I haven't even seen any other electric cars, but uh, there should be a new term coined for it. So internet, coin a new term for electric cars. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps somebody. Enjoy.